just I remember that. Do you believe in God? And the kids will say yes. I say, okay, ask God for candy. And then the kids were asking God for candies and I didn't get candies. Okay, now ask Fidel for candies and everybody got candies. Best friend being dragged by a bus and people spitting on him and everything because also Castro wanted his best friend to work for him and they refused. So that was the reason that he took his life because he said that um, that he was not going to work for any communist um, dictator and that's exactly what he was although the people didn't realize it. Well, it was persecution to everything that uh, represented power on organization and anything that was uh, a threat to the uh, newborn communism in the island. You would have to make a line outside the grocery stores just to buy a loaf of bread. Yes, of course, they talk about this fabulous health plan for everybody. Nobody has to pay for, uh, for health services, for medical services, but do you really have the appropriate conditions? When you go to a hospital, your family has to even bring your food because they don't have food to give you. You had to become, all the children in school had to become part of a, it, it was called uh, the Pioneers. And he would hang, he would make you wear every Friday a red kerchief around your, your school blouse and um, a, uh, like a little hat and it had the communist sign on it. Um, I was attending Catholic schools at the point and in 1962 all Catholic schools were nationalized. So all uh, foreign priests and nuns were expelled from the country and uh, the schools were uh, part of the, became uh, owned by the government. and they asked me in court and everything, and it was scary for a seven-year-old, you know, to go in front of a judge and and these militia guys there, you know, pointing at the guns at you and everything. And, and they told my grandmother that if I didn't do what I was told, that one of them was going to be, you know, put away and that I was going to get kicked out of school. When Castro took over, Raul was the mean guy. He had no mercy with women, children, uh, you would say bad things about their government and they they would, you know, you would disappear. And they would find you in a ditch somewhere, you know, because he didn't have a court system or anything. He just got rid of you. Do you think it's possible for something like genocide to happen in Cuba? A genocide at this point? A genocide already happened. Uh, with all the massive executions. The genocide already happened and people ignore it. The genocide happened every time that Cubans leave the island in raft and they die in the ocean trying to reach freedom. The genocide takes place when the Cubans who arrive in the United States are sent back to the country and then they are incarcerated and executed. Do you still have the death penalty in Cuba?